people over the grave. Buttermilk biscuits. Not enough rice, honey. Attacking me. You seek God. I mean, what happened to this girl? Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for your girl. Hello, 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 hello. It's your girl, Lovely the Great. And in this video, I am going to show you all how to make some homemade oatmeal raisin cookies, y'all. So that's what we're going to be making today. So right now, I have all my ingredients that you're going to need for your oatmeal raisin cookies. You're going to need one cup of butter, unsalted butter. So... You're gonna also need some cinnamon. You're gonna need some vanilla extract or vanilla flavoring. You're gonna need some raisins and I got some Calif uh, sun-made California sun-dried raisins, don't matter what brand. You're gonna need your oats. I got some of the quick one minute oats. Um, you're gonna need some white sugar and I'm gonna be using some light brown sugar, three eggs. And I'm using self-rising flour um, you can use all-purpose flour in um, baking soda, but I'm using the self rising because that's the flour that I'm going to be using. <laughs> so, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and crack three eggs and whisk them in a bowl. And add your raisins to the eggs and just set it aside for about 20-25 minutes. And the reason you're doing this is to make the raisins nice and soft. Because a lot of times when people make oatmeal raisin cookies, they don't do this step. And their raisins are dried out, burnt, and just horrible. So this is the first step. Okay, so I have three large eggs in this bowl. And I'm just going to whisk them together. Whisk them really good. And I'm going to add my raisins in there with that. Okay, so I'm just going to use about... As far as the raisins that I have here, I'm going to use these little small boxes. I'm going to, and these boxes are 1.33 ounces. So I'm going to use maybe two boxes of raisins. Okay. okay, so I have my raisins in the egg. And I'm just going to kind of like make sure they all get wet. Just kind of put them in there. Make sure that they're getting wet with the egg mixture. And I'm just going to set this aside, like I said, for about 25 minutes okay okay so since I need one cup of butter I'm gonna need two sticks of butter to equal one cup so I'm gonna take my butter and what we're gonna do is take a mixing bowl a nice size bowl and we're gonna put our two sticks of butter we're gonna put one cup of brown sugar it can be light or dark and one cup of white sugar we're going to put one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we're going to mix this really, you know, well with the mixer, a hand mixer preferably. Um, mix that. This is our um, butter and our sugar and our um, vanilla. Mix that in for a few moments. On a separate bowl, we're going to put two and a half cups of flour. We're going to put some cinnamon. Now the cinnamon is pretty much, you can use about a tablespoon or um, two tablespoons depends on how much you like cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'm probably gonna use two tablespoons. You don't have to use that much. But anyway, we're gonna put our uh, flour and our cinnamon together, mix it together really good. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this together real good with just the cinnamon and the flour. Just kind of mix it together. Mix that brown with that white really good. I'm just using a regular little teaspoon to do that with. Now we're going to add some of our flour mixture to our egg mixture that's in the bowl. And we're going to mix it with the mixer a little bit. Not all of it, just we're going to add so much of it until we get to like half. And then we'll go ahead and add our um, egg and raisin mixture. And we're going to start stirring by hand after that. Like so. 
Now we're going to take our egg and raisin mixture and add that to the um, dough. We'll add the rest of the flour and we'll um, mix this by hand. So we're not going to be using the mixer anymore. Just kind of pouring that in there. Pour the rest of the flour and then we're going to add two cups of oats. I have added my oats. Now I'm going to hand stir and mix this in real good. You want to hand stir it until there is no more dry ingredients. Everything is wet. Okay, so you're going to take a non-grease baking sheet like so. And you're just going to either take a spoon or you can use the, the utensil, the spoon or whatever that you were mixing it with. And you're just going to kind of scoop it and make your little cookie dough balls or what have you. And put them in the pan. Space them out um, about maybe a few at least a couple inches apart how i'm doing it i'm just using a spoon and i'm spooning it in there like that okay and as y'all can see three six nine twelve i have 12 on this pan and i still have enough batter to make 12 more so with the um ingredients and the amount that you're using for this recipe you can make two dozen cookies okay and i have the stove the oven preheated to 350. I'm going to put these in the oven for about 10 minutes, y'all. I am going to put the rest of this dough in a container, safe container that I can put it in the freezer. Y'all, so it's beeping. Let's take a look. Okay, so they weren't ready. I just hey, you guys, our cookies are done. Done, done, done. I'm going to let them sit in the pan, on the pan for a few moments, probably about 10 minutes but they're no longer on, in heat. And then they should be nice and ready to serve with some nice cold milk, y'all. All right, it's your girl, Lovely the Great. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.